Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and man, I haven't said that in a while. So, today we're going to be opening up this PS3 controller, and we're going to be changing the LEDs right here to some blue surface mount LEDs. And these are the surface mount LEDs. They are size 0603. Surface mount components come in all different sizes, and those are the particular size for these LEDs. So we're going to open it up, and I find that if you open these up really slowly, the buttons won't fly everywhere. And... For each PlayStation 3 controller is a little different. So for this one, uh, we're just going to be removing the battery, which is the same on all of them. But it's the way the buttons go in that's different. So by we're not even going to touch the buttons because we're going to remove the two motor wires and the one screw to just access just the board. And the white clip behind the board is what's going to hold in the buttons. So we don't even have to redo those. So we're just going to desolder the motors right here. And we're going to remember that... Um, the black wire goes on the bottom and the red one goes on the top if the controller wasn't upside down. So we're going to use our tweezers, which I'm going to be talking about a lot because this video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for tweezers. Even though I do end up soldering one of the uh, SMD LEDs without tweezers, but we'll get to that later. So now that we have the board almost quite removed we're just going to throw everything aside and here are the leds now positive for the led is on the top row the top row is all of your positive points the bottom row is your negative so that's we're going to keep that in mind and remember when i talked about tweezers these are the precision tweezers that i'm going to be using and i use tweezers so often for so many mods so i just want to point out how important they are to, to do multiple things. You look at these tweezers, look how beat they are. I, I use these tweezers a lot. And then here I got a fresh pair of my super precision pointy tweezers. Highly recommend them. And we're gonna be using them to do this. So here we have some liquid flux. We're just gonna throw liquid flux right on the existing uh, SMD LED. Throw solder over it and just wipe it away with your iron. Easiest, quickest, best way to remove SMD components that you don't need anymore. And then here's the, the new LED. And as you see, that's the orientation and that's the polarity of this. So now we know which one's positive and which one's negative. And like I said, the top part of the PCB is all your positive points. So we're gonna be lining. That's the part we're gonna be wiring positive to. So for adding the SMD LEDs, it's all about you just remove them, you add, you tin it up just the tiniest bit, and then you sort of slide the LED into place and then just add solder on, on the other one. This was the first one that I had done, so I took a little bit extra time, and then after I do these four, it's funny, I actually did this on a Wii immediately after, and I got a way better footage showing what it looks like to do this on the Wii. It's literally the same thing on a Wiimote. Um, so stay tuned for that footage because that was I'm actually very very happy with the way that came out so you'll see it again and like that like I said just put your iron right next to the SMD LED just flow solder right on it it falls right off uh, add a little solder to the first point the positive point or whichever point you're gonna be sliding on first gently heat it up and then you just sort of slide the LED into place so with the solder being already melted from being heated up, you could just slide the LED in. And then you just have to worry about touching the other side. And you see, with just a quick little tap, solders it in, boom, done. All thanks to tweezers. So now we're gonna do the second one and just throw some little flux on it, same exact thing. And we're just gonna put some solder on it and just sort of wipe it away. So we're gonna, it's gonna heat up both points at the same time, just wipe it away, get rid of that. Add a little bit of solder to the first point and then slide the LED in with the tweezers. Now, when I said I actually did one without the tweezers, it's the fourth one. Why did I do that? Because I just wanted you guys to see me struggle without tweezers. And I guess to show that it's possible without tweezers, but to show how much harder it is. Um, because I'm really just advocating tweezers with this entire video and that's the whole purpose is I want everybody to just have tweezers. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know anymore. But watch me struggle. I feel that would be good. And um, you just tap it. I accidentally went out of frame. You just tap the other one and boom, it's soldered in. Okay, here you go. Me soldering this one. No tweezers. Watch this. Watch me struggle. It's really good. We're going to tin up one point and then we're going to do the same thing as we did with the tweezers, just with our finger and our fingernail. 
and we have to check the polarity. I think at this point, I don't remember which side of that LED was positive. Oh, flipped it over. Oh, well now we know. We know which side's positive. Can we flip it over without turning it around? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The suspense. Am I going to get this one on or am I going to crack and use the tweezers? I don't know. I can't even remember. Oh, no. It's stuck to my finger. I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Oh, I found it. Okay, there it is. All right. We're just going to inch it into place. We're going to try. We're going to try really hard. Okay, here we go. There it is. Same technique, just heating up the solder and just sliding the LED in and it went in and we got it and we got it on the one point and here we go. Just tap the second point and boom, now we're in. So, I also said I was going to show soldering these with a Wiimote on a Wiimote just to give you a little bit more footage of, you know, SMD soldering and what it looks like. So here's the Wiimote. Same process, same everything. Although, Nintendo conveniently placed which side was positive and which was negative on the markings on the board, and that was a nice touch. So, uh, first half is pretty much the same thing. We're just going to put the iron, a little, uh, little bit of liquid flux, just to help the solder flow onto it. And we're just going to put the iron horizontally, right next to the LED, and just wipe it away. Side note, these LEDs, they're the same size. They're also uh, the 0603 uh, surface mount. LED and you just wipe those LEDs away so easily nice and gone and then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna tin up one side and we're gonna do the same thing where we slide the LED in and then we tap the other side but it's just the footage just came out much better when doing it on the Wemo so we're gonna tin all the points the same mind you what I also like to do while I'm doing this is test each point after I solder each one to make sure I'm doing it right but I don't think I did that on the Wiimote. So there, that's it, that's it. And we're gonna get a nice close up of that right after. You heat up one side and then just gently slide it in and then you just tap the other side with a little bit of solder. And the tip to use this, whatever tip uh, you feel most comfortable with, small is pretty good, but you don't need too small because you need the heat still as well. And that's it, boom, right there. And we're gonna get an even more close up on the third one. So here we go, heat up one side, slide the LED into place, and then just tap the other side with a little bit of solder. And the key is to try to get that solder to flow over the other edge. Here we go, even more close up. And so that's uh, that's surface mount soldering. That's how you do that with uh, with LEDs. That's the, I use the same technique for all sorts of surface mount uh, soldering. The slide one piece in, it works pretty pretty well, and I enjoy it. So let's see what this looks like, and to see if this is all worth it. Of course it's worth it. Do you have any idea how much fun I had? Look, boom! All those blue LEDs. It looks sick. Very very happy with the way it came out. And as you see, my PS3 with its own LED mods in the background. I noticed the, um, they're pretty bright, so they kind of shine through the shell a little bit, but I like that. I don't know. It just gives it more personality and more oomph. So, um, if you guys like this kind of stuff, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of my videos. I have all sorts of videos like this. Uh, feel free to give it a browse. There's all sorts of good stuff on there. And uh, thank you guys very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And also, I gotta thank you from everybody else at the Retro Gaming Arts crew. Thanks for watching! Woo Thanks for watching.